Herzlich willkommen. Uh, welcome to our info session in Vienna. Um, I'm and there are also the others will do this in English as we have English speakers here. I hope that I think the majority who's a native German speaker. Yeah, so uh, let's make it an international contribution. <coughs> uh, later uh, we'll have an interactive session where I think it's totally fine um, if you just speak German to us and we can also answer. Let's see where the international people will go and then we'll um, do that in English as well. Um, welcome to our info session in Vienna. You're probably here because of Atlassian Open. Thank you so much. We had a long discussion. Is anyone ever going to join a Sunday business event? <laughs> and uh, in the very beginning we thought, oh, if we have like five or eight people, including us or plus <laughs> us, uh, that would be fine. And uh, then we found out that uh, there are obviously more than eight people who are interested in that and have to switch places. So uh, thank you so much for making this a success for us. Um, Uh, can I ask real quick, who's using Lynchpin in his organization already? Okay, a couple. And who has heard of Agile Hive? Some of the partners have. And who's using Drawio? Ah, uh, more. Awesome. And that's um, uh, the products that we're going to um, be showing today. There's a um, special element. Um, that we're going to be talking about, I think, only briefly in the keynote and more uh, prominently in a, what we call product stations le uh, later. Maybe the first row can stand up because those are the people manning the product stations. That's Sebastian and Jan and Adil and Diana and Inga. Um, and you can tell slightly from the t-shirts um, which products they'll um, uh, present. By the way, there are more people here. You can address them as well. Um, and I think this is uh, the main things I should be sharing. If you want to tweet something on social media, you can use Atlassian Open. Um, if you want to use our Wi-Fi, you can do, use, I think it's Altstadt Vienna is the SSID of the Wi-Fi, and the password is Altstadt, all small letters. Uh, please uh, refrain from streaming Netflix and YouTube while we're doing live sessions. <laughs> Apart from that, I think we, uh, we should be all good. Um, let me check whether I forgot anything on my smart list. I think that should be it. Um, thanks for being here again. Uh, we're recording this, so if you're asking a question, at least your voice will be on. Otherwise, we're only recording this weekend and you should be part of um, the session later. And we can also cut you out if you have an urgent question and re um, understand later that you don't want it to be on the video. Um, yeah, I don't know whether the next slide is already revealing anything, but um, that's um, for the first one, which is Jan. Uh, your stage. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and oh, I forgot something crucial. Um, Setting this up, as I said, was like a lot of changing, moving parts. So I would ask you to give me a small applause for the people who made it happen, our event team. Thank you. Okay, now your stage. Thank you. So welcome to the first product that we will demonstrate here, which is Agile Hive. And uh, let me check what I have to press here. Yeah, cool. So I want to, first of all, give you a brief introduction uh, what the scaled Agile framework is all about. And then I will show you um, Agile Hive um, with uh, some screen, uh, screenshots. So um, maybe just um, to, to ask you, who never heard of SAFE? Two, that's cool. So everyone should now explain what it is. No. <laughs> so um, I tried to um, describe SAFE as short as possible. And um, what I found uh, was this. This is an, yeah, an official um, excerpt from uh, Scaled Agile itself. And uh, I think this is the, the best um, part to, to describe SAFE. So it provides guidance for all the levels of the lean enterprise. This is very um, crucial to have a lean enterprise. And um, 
Uh, it's, all, uh, it's for those enterprises that are developing solutions. So we uh, have four different um, levels here. We have the team level, the program level, the last solution level, and the portfolio level. So this will be the most complicated construct of SAFE if you would have all of those uh, levels. And what is, what is the result of SAFE? The result is, um, so why, what, why should I transform my, um, my company? Um, the result is that we have greater alignment and visibility across the whole organization. Another part which is very important is that we are connecting the strategy, which comes from the top, from the managers, from the executives, um, with the execution. And um, the last result, or one of the results, is also to enable better business results faster and with a high degree of predictability and also quality. So, um, sorry. <laughs> So if you take a look at um, the safe big picture here, um, people are often overwhelmed by the information overflow. Um, so who is overwhelmed by the information overflow? Okay, so it's true what I'm telling you. <laughs> and they want to be supported by a tool. And uh, a tool that guides them through the different levels, to the different processes, and to do actually save the right way. And mainly, they want to answer um, the following questions. So, um, how do we define and align all of those artifacts? Um, how do we get transparency in that monstrosity? <laughs> and um, how do we get the shortest sustainable lead time? And the answer is with Jira, with Confluence, and of course, with Agile Hive. <clears throat> so, what is Agile Hive? Agile Hive is, of course, a solution developed by Seabird Media and it's saved by the book. It's 100% integrated into Confluence and Jira. It's behind the firewall, so on premises, not in cloud. And it's developed by safe experts. So, what does that mean? So, we um, develop Agile Hive together with Kegon. Maybe some of you guys know Kegon. Kegon is uh, a safe transformation partner. They have many experts and they have like the highest certificates that you can achieve. And they have also a so-called safe fellow. Of those safe fellows, you have only, um, I think, 12 or so worldwide. So we have direct contact to them. And this is why we um, uh, wrote here, developed by safe experts. First, I want to show you who is already using um, Agile Hive. So this is um, selection only. Um, and yeah, you see mainly uh, German uh, customers, but also, for example, one big American here. And um, now you maybe ask yourself, yeah, how are they using Agile Hive? So um, let me show you some of the newest developments uh, in Agile Hive. Um, so what you see here are the so-called project hierarchies. Uh, maybe we'll change the name, but this is the current naming. And this is the foundation of Agile Hive. So what you see here is, an, is a real screenshot out of Jira. It's no mock-up or something. This is real. And what you can do here is you can set up on the left side different layers. So as much as you want, you can name them. Uh, the way you want, and then you put, so those here are all Jira projects, and now you assign those projects to the different levels or layers, and do you define, is there a laser pointer here? Uh, and you define how uh, the relationship between the projects should be. And with that, why are you laughing? You're laughing because of Hodo, right? <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> so, um, with this here, we are um, able to um, yeah, display or um, support safe like it should be. So for example, you see we have five teams here and those five teams, they are corresponding to this art here. And what, what do we achieve by this hierarchy? We achieve that all the issues that are, for example, in team one can only be linked to issues 
that are in art one. So we, if you're talking about save, we would have, for example, we have stories here, and here we would have features, and we can, we can only connect stories to features in art one. For example, we cannot connect uh, team features from here to here. So this is what the foundation um, is doing. And uh, another example is also, for example, if we look at portfolio, we, we talk about portfolio epics, and also those can't be directly linked, for example, to a story in the teams. So what you can do here, or maybe you can already imagine what you could um, do with that. So this is also pretty simple to, to use. And if you want, I can show this uh, afterwards on the product station. Um, so the next thing that I want to show you is uh, another thing um, which is uh, built up on the foundation. So what you see here is a typical um, Jira issue. I think everyone knows that they look like that in server. And what I want to show you is this here. So we are calling it currently context, maybe we'll call it issue hierarchy, we don't know still, but what you see is that um, those layer names are the ones that you saw in the project hierarchies. And now you see currently we are looking at this issue and you see all the parent issues um, that are um, yeah, belonging um, to this um, bug in this case. So you have on first sight, if you open up the, the issue, you have the overview here. You don't have to open up another view, you don't have to scroll down your issue or whatever, you have it directly here on the right side in your screen space. The next thing I want to show you are our Agile Hive team reports. So, um, of course, we are providing different reports for the different levels. In this case, I will only show you two levels to make it a little bit quicker. <coughs> and um, so the team um, reports, I know you see now, I think, maybe you think too much information, but from a safe perspective, I want it, I need it. I need all of those in one view. And I will just quickly show you what you, what you see here. So this gadget here shows you, for example, all the team members that are belonging to the Team Rocket here. So you see the names, you see their roles. Uh, so you have transparency about that. You have like a documentation directly here. Here you see, um, like yeah, statistics uh, of this team. You see the velocity of this team. You see, um, for example, how many days they are still um, in, uh, in for the for the whole PI, um, and how many are already passed. You see how many business value has been achieved and stuff like that. The middle uh, uh, gadget here. So yeah, you see it consists of different ones. Are um, are the the sprints of this team? So for the first time, you will see all their sprints. In, in one view. Maybe you know the sprint report in Jira. So you have to click through every sprint and, to, and you, you can never see all the sprints um, like, like this here, side by side. And you see um, how they are named, if they are done. So if they are, for example, green or blue or, or gray. Those are uh, the new Jira colors, if you don't know them. <laughs> and. Um, and you see, for example, the, the content of the different sprints. You see um, how many story points were achieved um, uh, and stuff like this. So I will go deeper into that in the, on the product station, for example. And this here is, for example, uh, something very important. It shows you um, the so-called team PI objectives. And if you're familiar with SAFE, and you told me that, <laughs> maybe you saw already this metric, because this is one to one um, copied from, from Scale Ledger. They use the same colors, they use the same um, view to show you the objectives and uh, you will manage them like Scale Ledger is telling us. And of course, the last gadget you see it here is for the risk management, which I will just skip. Uh, just in comparison, the um, reports for the, uh, for the program level. So, before, I talked about one team. Now, we are talking about 10 teams that are working together in one Agile release train. This is the uh, art here. And um, now you see again, 
that we have, yeah, okay, in this case we have the same pictures, but those are different people. And um, the big difference is here. Now we don't look at different sprints. Now we look at the full program increment that we are planning. So a pre program increment can consist of, for example, six or seven sprints. And you see here, those issues here are the ones that have been um, planned into this PI. And you see the uh, very specific information, like the progress, like the planned story points, uh, how many are done, how many are open. And what you see here, those are the different teams. This is, those are the, the avatars of the different teams. And you see with those uh, numbers, um, on which of those features and enablers and whatever you want to use, um, they are involved and how the progress is. So you can also, you can go very granular here. Again, we have um, statistics and risks and objectives which are cascaded here, but I will show you this stuff um, on the product stage. <laughs> um, the next thing, or the last slide, that I want to show you is uh, who does, uh, who heard of Jira Align? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, maybe like a quarter, I would say, here from all the guys. Um, so, Jira Align, formerly known as Agile Craft, has been um, bought by Atlassian two months ago or something. And um, so many, or some partners, uh, asked us, yeah, what is the difference between Agile Hive and Jira Align? And because of that, I wanted to show you the difference. So the difference, let's start here, is that we, with Agile Hive, are 100% integrated into Jira and Confluence. So you don't switch to other applications, you don't have to learn completely new UI or processes or whatever. And yeah, uh, Jira Align is actually an additional piece of software which is very complex, which looks totally different. And what I, I would say, what I dislike the most is this, this part here. It's, it's that the teams are working in Jira, which is totally fine, but only the teams are working in Jira. And um, everything that comes above the teams is working with Jira Align. And the problem is that you're familiar with Jira, so you know, for example, Jira Epics, right? You know them, Jira Epics? And in, um, in SAFE, you have a hierarchy, like on Teams, you have the stories, and on program level, you have, for example, features and enablers. But Jira Align doesn't use features and enablers on program level. They use the Epic of Jira. So first of all, it's the wrong name. And second, um, where's my enabler and my other? maybe issue types that I need. So there's a big problem here. And uh, this is a problem that we don't have with Agile Hive. Um, this is not something that I can show you then. The next thing is, yeah, you know, uh, we are using Confluence, so we have collaborative editing in real time. So this is rather a Confluence um, property, of course. But, you know, if you saw um, Jira Align and you want to, for example, formulate strategies, you know how they are doing it? They are doing it in, like in, in fields of, of, uh, of Jira. They, they just have a field where they put the strategy in and that's it. There's no versioning. There is no collaboration, no real-time collaboration. And we are using simply Confluence to have the collaboration in real time and the versioning and other, and other things. So this is, um, I think, a big advantage. We are also able to automate documentation. So, for example, um, let me give you an example which is, which is not so safe. Um, so let's say um, you're a team and you want to document your sprints and you need, uh, for example, uh, sprint review pages and sprint retro pages, okay? So how are you doing it actually? Who is using templates for that? Two? Who is creating them at all? <laughs> okay, so um, and maybe also some are just creating them with the create button. 
um, we are able to automate this. So for example, if a sprint starts, the sprint documentation will be created, the retro page will be always already created, and the review page will be created with all the information that you need. So you don't need to create this and um, put um, information on that. I can show that too. Yeah, so we are um, on premise, so behind the firewall, and Agile, uh, sorry, Jira line is cloud only. So there's also a big problem in, in Germany. Yeah, the cost. So uh, Agile Life costs like 120K. And Jira Line costs 10 times more. Um, Agile Life is constantly reviewed by safe experts. I already told you about Kegon. Um, at Jira Line, we don't know, so we can't tell anything about that. Um, Jira uh, Agile Hive, we have no secrets, so our pricing is fully available on our website. We, sh we share our roadmap and we also invite customers to our reviews, which we already did. So we have really no secrets. And uh, also we offer, of course, our famous Seabird Media uh, Partner Program, which maybe you already know from Linchpin, so it's the same for Agile Hive. And uh, yeah, in, at Atlassian, like we know is that there are only, I think, 10 partners, selected partners, and uh, no further partners are invited or allowed at this point, so um, you have no chance currently to get into it. So this is it. Um, just a brief um, summary of uh, what I hope uh, you learned today. So the four main aspects are that Agile Hive is fully integrated into Jira and Confluence, that it's safe by the book, it's on-premise, and that it's developed by safe experts. Thank you.